Hello traders, FS Fibgalette here. Today is Monday, April 15th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Euro dollar, I'm still very bullish overall. I still think there's a very good likelihood that this move down that we're currently getting is going to make another higher low, and I still think it is very likely to continue the uptrend and eventually take out these highs. But I'm definitely looking for sorts on sort of time frames, so if it does Let's just keep on going down. Definitely not going to create much of an issue for me. So heading down to the weekly time frame, to me on the weekly, I still think this is a wave one. I still think this is an expanding flat wave two, higher high wave B, lower low wave C, definitely looks like an expanding flat. If that's the case, and I still think this right here is a one, I still think this push down is a wave two, and I still think there's a very good likelihood that this wave two will not take out the low of this wave C, and it will make a higher high, and eventually keep on trending up for that big wave three. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I'm still looking at this first push down as possibly a wave A. This still looks like three waves up wave B. Still looks like a one, two, three, probably four, five of wave C that is forming now. Now if this is a one, this is a two, and then we get a big 78% fit bounce with a break of Strutzer, that should help prove that the wave two is over, and that should help prove that we are going back up for a wave three. Now there's no proof that this wave two is over, so guess what? I'm looking for sorts on sort of time frames. And if it does just keep on drifting down and I'm looking for sorts. Really, if anything, I would just make more money while I was actually wrong about my early wave count. So going down to the 4 hour time frame, 4 hour time frame we are going up right now but there's no break of starts to the upside, there's no high or low, there's definitely no Fibonacci bounce. I am for sure looking at this move up as a possible crutch into the move down and I'm still looking for sorts on sort of time frames. Heading right down to the 1 hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last push down. Kinda looks to me like a 1, 2, 3 and this actually could even be a wave 4 or it could just be a subdivision of a much larger trend. Either way, I'm definitely looking for price to go up to one of these Fibonacci levels, which at this point would have to be at least a 38%. So if I see this go up to at least a 38%, I see a nice big engulfing move to the downside, which really it could happen to any one of these Fib levels, then that would be my next sorting opportunity for the continuation of the downtrend. I am for sure primarily looking for sorts until the higher time frames tell me otherwise. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, link down here in the corner, and don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to the daily live trading sessions and the swing trade setups at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.